Well, hello. We have an impending storm coming again. I don't know if this will be my one and only vlog or if I will do some more. I guess I'll just see how the views are, how you guys respond to it, if you want to see more, that kind of thing. I don't even know what's going to end up in this particular vlog. Right now, I know we'll have some storm coverage, so I guess we're just going to see how the week goes. I'm expecting a couple of rugs to be delivered, a new laptop, which I did not plan on having to get, and I'm sure there'll be some more things thrown in here or there. So, all right, here we are, my very first vlog. This is my office space. This is probably where I spend the majority of my week. You can see behind me, I have my laptop kind of up on a stand back there to make it more ergonomically correct because I've had some shoulder issues. And we have Luke where he is perched. Let me see if I can get him in focus. That's where he sits <laughs> the majority of the time. He just loves to look out that window. It is a Sunday. I did film today and I'm just organizing that footage so that I can play around with it tomorrow. I'm not editing or doing anything like that. I just wanted to just go ahead and get it filed where it needed to be so that when I mess with it tomorrow, it would just be a little bit easier on me. It probably shouldn't take that long. Good morning. I let Luke out. I'm about to go let him in because he just stands at the back door and stares in until I let him in. Sometimes he scrapes on it. It's just what he does. He is not an outdoor dog. He'll kind of wander around for, I don't know, maybe five minutes and then he's, he's done. He's just done. It's really overcast today because the hurricane weather is supposed to hit in, I guess, about three hours. So I'm going to try and get some filming in before that happens, which means something has to happen with this face first and this voice. I have to drink some coffee, wake up a little bit. If the filming for the first video goes well, I'm going to try to get two in. We'll see how it goes. So that's my plan and I have to edit a video today that's supposed to go live I think Wednesday. I'm going to go ahead and try to upload it tomorrow just because I don't know how our internet is going to be with this storm. All right, I'm on my iPhone now. I'm about to film the talking parts of this new makeup must-haves you need to try now. I filmed the B-roll earlier, so I look a little bit more presentable than, <laughs> than I did first thing this morning. And um, I'm gonna try and get this filmed before the light completely craps out on me. And my makeup table is a complete disaster from doing my makeup earlier and from the products that are corralled on it. And Luke is in his usual corner bed spot. So hopefully this will be a pretty seamless filming. I don't think it'll take that long. It's 11.06 right now. So let's see how quickly we get through this. I need to focus and edit but my brain is very foggy because I'm very sinusy and it just makes it a little bit difficult to really just hone in on what I need to do. It's making it take longer. Filming took a little bit longer than I had hoped. I think I had started at what, 11.06 and I didn't finish until like uh, 12.45, maybe even close to one. It's about two o'clock now. I'm just sitting down to edit my video that I want to go up tomorrow morning. I just don't know if it's going to happen or if it's going to happen on Wednesday. I also had to order a new laptop this weekend, which was an unexpected purchase, but I have been having ongoing issues with my current laptop, which is four years old. And considering that I use it probably 15 hours a day, I've gotten my use out of it, but it's an expensive purchase when you end up getting the storage space, the speed, all the things that you need to, to get in a laptop when you do what we do. I am ready for it to get here because uh, the editing is taking me a little bit longer than usual because there's just lagging that's happening, which is also frustrating. I am uh, drinking a lemon LaCroix. It is quite tasty, actually. I don't know why I haven't gotten this flavor before. It's quite refreshing. I probably need to have a coffee <laughs> and a dessert deck tea. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's what what my afternoon is probably going to entail.
I finally got everything uploaded to YouTube right around 7.30. So I am finally sitting down and relaxing and watching a little bit of YouTube. And then I think I'm going to watch an episode of The Good Wife. I've been watching that lately. I finally started a couple weeks ago. Everybody told me it was great and it really, really is. And then I'll probably call it a night and we'll see what tomorrow has in store. I completely forgot I had a hair appointment today until they texted me and told me I did. So I just got my hair cut. She cut two inches off and I still feel like it's kind of long. I'm uh, heading back home and I have to continue working for the day and I feel nice and nice and, and fresh and shiny and new again. I also wanted to update you guys on Hurricane Sally. So here's the deal with hurricanes. I've been asked a couple times how I seem so calm when they're coming because, I mean, obviously they're a big deal. I mean, you know, our house was destroyed in Katrina and it's always a question mark as to what do you do when a hurricane comes. So yesterday we were fully prepared for a lot of wind, a lot of rain, and who knows what else because Hurricane Sally was a Category 2 heading pretty much our way. When we woke up this morning, it had shifted east and we're not even getting any rain. All we're having is wind. Changes can happen that quickly. And so when you start getting these warnings, you don't really know if you should panic or not. So unless there's a mandatory evacuation, we usually stay. They canceled school today and it's a perfectly fine day, but you know, you just, you never know. So you kind of, you know, prepare for the worst, hope for the best. And the past couple of warnings that we've had have turned out to be fine for our area. And New Orleans just gets hit really bad because we are below sea level. So we were spared from this one again. So that's one of the reasons why people kind of stay calm most of the time as things are approaching because changes can happen last minute like they did last night. So that's where we are today. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. So today's kind of a big day because this guy, this little floofy guy here is going to the groomer. He is getting his fur all cut and is going to get all nice and clean. Sometimes they cut his hair kind of weird. So it's always interesting when we get him back in the afternoon. It is going to be unfortunately a Luke free day and I'm going to actually explain that lucky sign that's been there since March 17th, a little later. So Brooke is a sophomore in high school and Monday everyone was virtual because of the impending hurricane. Tuesday they were off because the weather was supposed to be really, really bad. And then today's Wednesday, which is her half of the alphabet's day to go to school. And the other half is virtual. So every other day, the first half goes and the second half is virtual. And then they flip flop for the second day. So if she's Monday, Wednesday, Friday this week, which is what she is, then Tuesday, Thursday, she would be virtual. Next week, she would be virtual Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and she would be in class Tuesday, Thursday. So I brought her to school this morning. Luke and I came home. I can bring him to the groomer anytime between eight and nine. But part of my my Wednesday ritual, and some of you have heard me talk about this before, is to listen to my Office Ladies podcast. I don't think you can see that. If you can't, I'll just throw it up here on B-roll. So if you are an Office fan, then you need to listen to this. It's basically a rewatch of the Office podcast that Jenna Fisher and Angela Kinsey, who played Pam and Angela, they're best friends in real life. They're about my age, and they just have a lot of fun. They have cast members on. They have directors and writers on that give you kind of an inside look at what went on with each episode. It's really cool. In today's episode, they are actually revisiting some things that viewers caught that they missed from the Gay Witch Hunt to the Benihana episodes. But every Wednesday, I listen to that in the morning and kind of all throughout the day. Sometimes I finish, sometimes I don't, just depending on how big my workload is. But yeah, so that's what I started my day with today. I just asked Luke if he was ready to go to the groomer. First of all, Luke, loves going places. He loves riding in the car. He is waiting by the front door right now and the rug is all smushed up because when we get mail or when somebody comes to the door, which has already happened today, he slams into the door. And so the rug is a mess. So just ignore that. But he is like ready to go. So here we go. We're going to the groomer. Luke, you ready to go? You ready to go? You ready to go? 
Okay. Okay. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yes. Are you ready? Okay. 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 Be patient. Come on, Luke. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, just got back in my office, dropped Luke off, and am doing some administrative stuff that I need to get to today. I don't think we talk about that kind of stuff that, you know, a lot of what we do is like going through emails, trying to, you know, figure out video ideas and campaign stuff. I need to start a blog post because I also am pretty active on my blog. And um, so I need to do that. I, I, I've just got some things I need to tend to today. And I have two client calls tomorrow um, for social media consulting. So I need to schedule those Zoom calls. And I'm gonna do a little bit of editing and um, we'll just see how the day goes. I also wanna see where my rugs are and the things that I have ordered. You know, I said we got one rug, which I still need to show you guys. And I'm still waiting on a front door rug replacement. I'm waiting on the other rugs. My laptop is not coming until September 24th, which seems like an eternity when your other one is dying. That's okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm going to get my some of my life together now, I, I hope. So I'm on a break. So I'm really mad at myself because I noticed over the past week or so that my left eye specifically has been watering uncontrollably. It's just ridiculous, really. And I mean, my right eye's been watering, but it's mostly my left eye. And then it dawned on me that I just kind of phased out of using my omega-3, my fish oil. About maybe a month ago, I just kind of stopped using it. I ran out of my home nutrition omega-3 and I just never started taking other ones. And I also around that time stopped taking my collagen peptides that I would mix in my coffee in the morning or in my smoothies. I don't know what, what happened or why, but I noticed a difference in my joints, in my hair, in my eye health, my eyes just not being as dry so they won't water when I do both of those things. So this week I've made an effort, a strong effort to start taking my fish oil again. I don't have the Hum Nutrition, but I have three bottles of the Theratiers, which I've taken kind of for a short term, not long enough to see any benefit a long time ago. It's specifically for eye nutrition. You take three a day. I think you can take them all at one time or you can take them separately, but I'm taking these. I got three bottles a while back and they're good till like 2021. And I'm about to mix my vital proteins into my coffee. The problem is, is that these take a while to kick in. So I've totally set myself back. I mean, I probably won't see a benefit from these for at least four to six weeks, but I just have to be diligent with, with taking them. So um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I don't usually take this until I eat though, and I'm not really hungry right now. It's like 9.30 in the morning, so I usually take these with lunch, but um, I am going to put some collagen powder in my coffee. I placed a few orders last week and one of them was some lights for my computer when I'm doing client consultations and things like that or if I'm just live streaming which I don't do that often but I would like to not be so dark sometimes when I'm in my office and I think these are the lights so let's open and see.
my camera battery died while I was in the middle of putting these together, but I mean, they were super simple to assemble. It was really just two pieces. This went into here. They raise and lower very, very easily, and they fit underneath my cabinets, which is exactly what I needed. Clearly the light bulb sticks out, so putting a diffuser on them could be a little bit tricky. I thought I was gonna have them face forward and I would need a diffuser so that they wouldn't, you know, bounce off the shine of my face if I had anything going on. But I think I might be able to face them towards the back and have them reflect off of the wall. I'm also waiting on a small ring light to go behind my laptop. So if I'm facing this wall or facing the wall behind me, you know, I've got some small portable desktop lighting that I can just move to either side and be well lit no matter what time of day it is when I'm using my webcam because that lighting can be just kind of bad and make things a lot darker than it needs to be. So we will see tomorrow how this works when I'm actually doing some Zoom calls. All right, guys, this is what we have. Hello, good morning. I am drinking my coffee from a mug I got in one of my FabFitFun boxes. I love this mug. It's one of my favorite colors. Actually, it is my favorite color. I love teal, aqua. It says I'd rather be in bed, which is the absolute truth. <laughs> so this morning at eight o'clock, there was a Charlotte Tilbury Zoom call that I was invited to be on to debut premiere her holiday collection for 2020. And so I got to see some of that. I'm very excited about it. At first I thought they were just going to be showing, you know, like the stocking stuffers, the minis and the new advent box and things like that. But they also showed some new products that are coming out as well and all that good stuff. So it was fun. And I realized that I didn't give you guys a good shot of Luke after his haircut yesterday. So I wanted to do that this morning. I am starting to edit this vlog and I'm realizing it's going to be really long. So I actually think I'm going to take part of it where I show you guys what I brought on a recent trip with me and I show you my makeup, what I brought, and then what I actually used because it was a lot less. I think I'm gonna make that into a separate video. Getting ready for my first Zoom call, and I've got my lights set up here. I think they're working really well. I have so much more light on this call than I did before. Ooh, that picture's crooked. I need to fix that. That drives me crazy. Anyway, um, I have so much better light, and I switched over to using my iPhone for the rest of this vlog because I feel like there was some background noise <laughs> with my Canon vlogging camera or my smaller Canon camera that I can carry around with me. And I just wanna see if I can get that fixed. So it may be a little more grainy from here on out. I don't know, we're just gonna play around and, and, and see what works. So I have two consultations, one from three to 3.20 and the other from 3.30 to I guess 350. And then I'm going to work on a blog post for a little bit and then clean up around the house because I just need to do that. So that's what we have right now. And um, yeah, I'm about to have to hop on this call. It has not been a very exciting day around here. I'll, I'll say that much. I was walking back up to the house from bringing Brooke to school and I just realized that I did not show you guys the replacement porch swing cushions and pillows that I got for our front porch. So I'm gonna show you those really quickly. I like them. Our other ones were just kind of disgusting. So I had replaced those yesterday. They came and I also left the front door rug in the state that it was yesterday afternoon from getting deliveries. This is how it ends up pretty much daily because we get deliveries and mail through our mail slot in our front door every day. It's so frustrating. There's the perpetrator right there. Luke, did you do this? Luke, did you do this? Yes, yes you did. You did this. Guilty. Guilty as charged. I did get notice that my rugs that I've ordered have shipped so they cannot come too soon. And I do need to show you the new rug that we got. I don't think I showed you that. 
So I've been doing Daily Harvest for a while, and at first I was just doing their smoothies, but I decided to try their bowls and flatbreads and some other things. So this is the bowl that I'm eating today. It is spinach and shiitake grits, millet, cauliflower, spinach, shiitake, basil, and cashew. They're all gluten-free and organic, and I find them to be pretty filling and good. So that's what it looks like once you heat it up. You don't add anything. Um, it's, it's good. It tastes healthy. There's some that I definitely like more than others. I just did some editing for an Instagram thing. And I think I'm going to do some more editing on this vlog. And that's what the rest of my afternoon looks like. Oh my God, I just walked in the office to this. He's laying on his bench with his head on the chair, waiting for me to come back in. Oh my God, you're so cute. <laughs> oh, now we're stretching, you stretch. Are you offended that I was making fun of you? <laughs> it was out of love, Luke. It was out of love. Yes, yes it was. You're just so cute. Yes, you are. Oh, you're so cute. My weekly daily harvest box came. So we are going to see what's in here. This isn't sponsored or anything. Actually, I'd probably like it if they sponsored me because I really, really love daily harvest. I only got food in this one. I didn't get smoothies. If you do want to hear more about the smoothies that I think are really good from daily harvest, I can show you those in another video but I will show you what I got in this shipment. So let's open it. What I do love is that if you go out of town or something, you can pause your shipments and then just resume them when you want to. So I have a lot of bowls in here and of course Luke is at the back door right now. So let's go let him in. Hello. Luke, Luke, it's not nice to do that in front of the camera. You know, it's just not, it's just not, it's not cool. Okay, so let's just pull this out like it is a grab bag. So we have the sweet potato and wild rice hash. I want to say I don't have any surprises in this box, that I pretty much like everything that I got. Kale and lemongrass. Actually, nope, I take that back. I have not tried this one. I think that's a new one. Red lentil and cumin, this one's new too. I haven't tried that one either. I like to try everything at least once so that I know whether I like it or not. And you can save what you like and what you don't like so you don't accidentally order something you don't like. This is one of my favorites actually, spinach and shiitake grits. This is what I had for lunch today. I think I have a couple of these in here actually. Um, yep, there's another one. I have the tomato and oh okay that looks good that's a new one from them this one is a new one too so that's another flatbread and we have this flatbread which is a standard for me this is one that i really really like to get and you just pop those in the toaster oven and they're done in about 20 or 25 minutes in the artichoke and spinach this is one that i get pretty regularly too and that is all that was in the box today. You can get different quantities in your daily harvest box and I usually stick with nine to 11, but if for some reason there's one week where I want 12 or 13, you can add a little bit extra too. So you can change it up, which is really nice. And it's all so healthy. It's just really good for me in particular because I work out of the house and I don't always want sandwiches every day for lunch. And I like having smoothies as an option for a snack. They have have extra healthy things in them so I'm just not reaching for junk during the day I mean let's be real I reach for junk sometimes too but this keeps me on track most of the time and I know I'm eating you know just real healthy food so here's the rug that I keep meaning to show you guys and I keep forgetting it's an antelope pattern which I just thought was really cool and interesting and once that rug is replaced in there I think it's gonna look even better and of course you know we have the front door rug that's supposed to be replaced too that lucky sign has been in here since brooke's birthday march 17th because you know she's a saint patrick's day baby well she's not a baby anymore she is 15. i figured i would just flip you around for the rest of this 
So we always hang something right there for Brooke's birthday, and that's what it was this year. And with COVID and everything happening right around that time, taking it down just got pushed to the back burner. It kind of got to be a joke that it got left up. Michael kept bugging me to take it down, and then I was joking around, but it stayed it's been a thing and so we just have left it up. So it clearly needs to come down, but it's just, it's just been there. I, I don't know why. There's absolutely no reason, but now it's just kind of funny. So anyway, Michael went to go get Brooke from school. I am still in the office. I feel like I've been in the office all week this week. I mean, I kind of have. I've had a lot of stuff to do. Brady is coming home for the weekend and I think that's about it. If nothing fantastic happens, this afternoon, this evening, I will probably end the vlog right here. So this will be my first vlog. It could be my only vlog if no one watches, if no one likes this. So please leave me feedback down below, what you liked, what you didn't like, that kind of thing. I was really nervous about doing this for some reason, but it was really, really quite fun. Whether or not I do a vlog again, I will be seeing you in my next regular video. So thank you so much for watching.